question number 116 the following diagram represents the h and slack pathway means the c4 pathway in which labeling is incomplete you have to identify a and d and select the option accordingly you may be knowing about it that the h and slack pathway involves two types of cells the mesophyll cells and the bundle sheet cells primary fixation in the mesophyll cells and then bundle sheet cells so this cell is the mesophyll cell and the calvin cycle operates in the bundle sheet cell no doubt that this d is a bundle sheet cell option number 2 and 3 are ruled out because the d can be bundle sheet cell only now a can be C2 compound or a C4 acid. A will be a C4 acid because C4 acid is transported to the bundle sheet cell. So A is a C4 acid. So option number one is also ruled out. What about this B? This B is a C3 acid. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. Question number 117, read the following statements and choose the option which is true for them. Statement 1, in photosystem 1, the reaction center has an absorption peak at 680 nanometer. No, in PES 1, the absorption peak is at 700 nanometer. So, this is incorrect. Statement 2, xanthophylls and carotenoids are major pigments and chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B are accessory pigments. Chlorophyll A is the primary photosynthetic pigment in all the plants. It cannot be accessory at any time. So this statement is also incorrect. Even xanthophylls and carotenoids, they are accessory pigments. Now, both statements are incorrect. So the correct option for the given question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question. Question number 118, a possible location in chloroplast where cyclic photophosphorylation occurs is cyclic photophosphorylation occurs on the stroma lamella because PS1 alone is involved in the cyclic photophosphorylation and PS1 is present on the stroma lamella. If we talk about the thylakoid membranes, there are both PS1 and PS2 are present so non-cyclic photophosphorylation takes place. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 119. The correct sequence of processes in three stages of Calvin cycle is Calvin cycle is the C3 cycle in which the three major steps are carboxylation of RUBP. This is the first step. And second is the reduction of 3 phosphoglycerate. And the last is regeneration of RUBP or the CO2 acceptor molecule. So the correct option for the given question is option number. One. Let's move to the next question. Question number 120. The first biomolecule which is common to respiration mediated breakdown of glycerol and amino acids is. You can see in the chart. This chart is from your NCRT and here fats are broken down into fatty acids and glycerol and proteins are broken down into the amino acids. Now this glycerol is converted into DAHP. And these amino acids, they form the pyruvic acid. So these glycerol through the AHP form the pyruvic acid and amino acids also form the pyruvic acid. So pyruvic acid is the common between glycerol and amino acids. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Mm -hmm. 